Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. I honestly didn't expect to be making this video today because obviously this is pretty unexpected, but we're just diving straight into the tea here. So Jacqueline Hill finally freaking posted on YouTube. She posted a YouTube video and honestly it was nothing like I could have expected it to be. Now, the title of the video was Where I've Been. It was a 19 minute and two second video and I watched the whole thing. So I'm just going to say I went into the video with a very open mind, guys. I really wanted to give her a shot. I really wanted to believe that she was going to come back and apologize and own up to mistakes of not recalling the product, putting people in danger rushing the process, owning up to running away from the mess when things got messy. And honestly, guys, we did not get any of that clarity here. So I am really disappointed. And obviously, we're going to deep dive into what she said in the video. And yeah, we're just going to get right into it. I want to say in this video before I really get started that she did say she was sorry. But do I believe her? Do I believe this? I, um, no. Not for a freaking second do I believe that Jaclyn Hill is sorry for what she did. Because as a CEO and owner of a company, if you were truly sorry for putting a bad product out there or you were really embarrassed about what people were receiving, you would quickly, quickly say that you were sorry you would try to get a refund if you saw people were in danger with metal shards and glass shards you would immediately call a recall she really really waited it out to give everybody a refund and i mean she even addressed this in the video where she did call out the girl that tweeted about the lipstick in the beginning and she lashed out at her that was the only thing that she really went into she didn't talk about the recall she didn't talk about any of the allegations that were against her about what was in the lipstick none of that none of that was discussed and that's truly disappointing because we needed answers as to how that happened why that happened and why she didn't do anything about it quick enough and why she didn't do a recall at all so I don't believe that she was actually sorry. When the video starts off, she says that she knows there's a ton of questions and she doesn't answer any of the questions. She said she wasn't going to get into the rumors. And I think that if she really did, it would have saved her a little bit. At least in my eyes, I would have felt that this video was genuine. So she doesn't answer a single question in this whole dang video about that. And guys, I swear, I really did go into this trying to be open-minded, but this woman really only came back so she could move on with her life on YouTube as if nothing happened, just like how James Charles came back in five seconds after the Tati incident, because she has a collab coming out with Morphe, okay? Like, point blank, period. She even mentioned that she has something coming up soon. I've had several meetings, gotten together with my team, been working on new products, working on new labs. Thank you, God, that a launch that I have down the road is with a completely different lab than the one that I launched my lipsticks with, so we have not had to cancel that. If you guys have seen some of the other T channel videos, recently it was revealed that she was working with Morphe on a dip brow line. So this whole video was ruined for me. The whole thing felt like a lie. It did not believe a single thing she was saying. I don't believe any of the apologies, the I love you guys, the I care about you so much. I don't think she cares about any of her fans. I think she looks at them and sees dollar signs and is upset and sad that people don't trust her anymore because that's money she could have earned with amazing lipsticks. If she had an amazing launch, she would be making money, but instead she lost money. I think that is what she is 
most embarrassed about, and that is what she is most sorry for. That something went wrong. And you know what? If there was just something that had gone wrong and she addressed it quickly and was so absolutely amazing about it, I don't think anybody would have come for her the way that they did. The only reason why there were so many tea videos, people were saying so many things to her on Twitter and Instagram and commenting on the Jacqueline Cosmetics Instagram was because she refused to stop putting people in danger and she wouldn't recall the lipstick even though there was a petition for it. She mentions that she did not run away from social media, that she did not delete it to run away and make it all go away, but that's exactly what she did. And the only reason why she's back is because she has to promote something for Morphe soon. So everything here is a lie. She's saying that the reason why she wasn't on Twitter and on Instagram, why she deleted all the apps is because she kept looking up her name. And if that's the reason why you deleted it, that means you're running away from the problem. You don't wanna hear the advice people are giving you. You don't wanna hear the criticism. Honestly, if she had watched one T video, yes, it would have made her feel a little bit embarrassed, but there wasn't a single person that didn't tell her what she maybe should do. And I think that could have saved her. A recall would have saved her image completely. 100%. Because then people would feel like they could trust her and that they weren't in danger anymore. I just don't understand what she had against the recall. <laughs> so yes, she's coming back to YouTube and she's got something new coming out. This isn't some big revelation where she's decided I have to go back because I want to, or because I really do love and care about my subscribers. That's that's really not, it's not it. It's That's not the vibe I'm getting. You only have a certain amount of days after you deactivate your social media accounts to reactivate them before they're gone. You don't have access to them. So she's getting closer to that point and she's pretty much obligated to come back at this point if she wants to keep making money online. She does blame a lot of the people around her for going into hiding. She said that the people around her told her that she should just ignore what was going on, act like nothing happened, let it all blow over. And honestly, she was trying to say that she felt like that wasn't the right thing to do. And I think she's just putting the blame on other people uh, to make it seem like everyone was telling me that I needed to be quiet and just wait it out. And that's why I wasn't really here, but I decided not to go and listen to them and I'm making this video. Absolutely not. I don't believe for a second that Jacqueline Hill had the kahunas to say to her friends and her family, no, I'm actually not going to stay in hiding. I'm going to make my video because I'm going to be a big girl. I, I don't know the single person that would be like a publicist or anybody that could work for her and tell her that hiding was a good idea. So I think she really went into hiding because she was embarrassed, which is totally understandable, but she should have done a lot of things before, like the recall. I know we can't go back in time. I know I keep talking about it, but that was such a pivotal thing. And the main reason why she got so much criticism and the fact that she can't address why she never did that is beyond me. And I truly just can't accept this apology that she's trying to sell to us, not with all the facts that are around it. So guys, let me know how you felt about her video. I know this video was really about opinion and I'm really just trying to lay it all out there that she does have a collab coming out soon. And she even mentioned it in this video, which just leads me to seriously believe that's the only reason why she made this video. I don't think she would have come back this soon if otherwise. So guys, let me know how you guys feel about this. This is a pretty crazy situation and let's all just sit back and process it and see how this goes. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.